everybody, my name is Raymond Santos and I'm the principal clarinetist of the Kansas City Symphony. Uh, I'm very excited about this week's program. We are doing Brahms' uh, Fourth Symphony, Barber's First Symphony, and the Greek Piano Concerto. Brahms' Fourth Symphony is really exciting, especially since I'm a clarinetist, and the second movement has a very wonderful chorale that features the clarinet. Uh, when preparing for a Brahms symphony, one of the things that's really challenging, it, uh, especially for this symphony actually, is there are lots of long phrases, and as a wind player, obviously, in order to get sound out of my instrument, I have to use lots of wind. So, um, with the long phrases, it's very difficult to somehow plan where you're going to take breaths and make the phrases not sound strained. There's usually in Brahms symphonies, another thing that can be a little bit challenging as a woodwind player is that he writes a lot of chorales for the wind section, and woodwind instruments, unlike, you know, like the string section, um, are all very idiosyncratic, so each instrument has its own kind of intonation quirks, and uh, when you put all of us together trying to play a chorale, that can make it difficult in terms of, you know, the elbows want to go one direction with their pitch and the clarinets want to go another direction. So uh, that's something that always keeps you on your toes as a woodwind player whenever you're doing a Brahms symphony. Hi, my name is Jennifer Richardson. I play the viola with the Kansas City Symphony. Um, one of the things I'm most excited about for this week is Brahms' Fourth Symphony. He really takes great pleasure, I believe, in writing lines for the violas and for the audience to be able to hear how rich and beautiful the viola can sound. He, in other works, um, makes a point to write viola quintets and sonatas and he, he exhibits the viola in such a way in the symphony that it sounds almost like a solo instrument and that we get these beautiful, rich melodies that aren't usually distributed to us by other composers. Because it's so beautiful and the lines are so long, we have to be very careful to sustain the phrases, to vibrate from note to note, and to not drop the so-called line, to not drop the phrase, to continue to sing through each note as if it were coming out of our voice. Hi there, my name is Miles Maynard and I play bassoon and contrabassoon in the Kansas City Symphony. For me, it's all about Barber's Symphony No. 1. I played the bassoon on this piece and so I've taken part in the exciting, virtuosic, playful passages that he writes for the woodwinds and the strings, but I've never played the contrabassoon. At the end of the movement, he unleashes the full power of the orchestra, and to do that, he turns to the most primal instruments, always the low brass, very primal, and then he adds me, and so together we create this really nasty roar of a sound at the end that finishes the piece by slamming the door. So I'm really excited to check that out.